Good morning, folks. Switcher here. What does Switcher have up the sleeve this morning? Well, what we're looking at here is the uh, the instructions for uh, the uh, metal barrel, okay, for the Leopard uh, 1A5 uh, from Lucky uh, Model. Uh, kit number Victor Bravo Sierra 0186. And uh, this is a... Um, uh, an inbox review of uh, the 105 millimeter gun barrel. Uh, it comes with uh, smoke launchers and a uh, an antenna whip. Uh, although this is an inbox review, uh, this is a kit to be avoided at all costs. Uh, not all inbox reviews are positive, and I'm going to go through why this is a hunk of shit. Uh, to start off with, uh, we have the barrel here. Okay, that's one piece, uh, and there's another piece, and uh, let's zoom in on the camera. Uh, whoops, let's get some lights on the situation here. There we go. That is extremely thin wall. It's uh, probably about 10 thou thick. Uh, and uh, this would uh, glue on to th there thusly and so on and so forth to make the barrel. Okay. What is the problem with that? <clears throat> Thin wall. Uh, right off the bat, uh, the machining is piss poor quality on all these metal parts. And uh, these are the metal parts. Okay. Uh, very piss poor quality. The fit. Okay. It should be a nice sliding fit. Uh, they're loose in there causing misalignment problems on all the pieces. Okay. Uh, this is a piece, that is a piece, okay, uh, this end piece is a piece as well, and so on and so forth, and then we got these very thin photo etch pieces that, uh, make up, uh, this section over here, okay, uh, lining these up is a, uh, is, uh, a nightmare for lack of a, of a better word, and, uh, so on and so forth, but this is how the barrel gets assembled, Okay, uh, we've got the back piece, and this piece fits into that. We assemble this subassembly, and that creates that lump or whatever you want to call in a gun. And then we have uh, this piece, and of course, we've got uh, the rifle then, and so on and so forth. Uh, I've assembled these in the past, okay, using uh, CA glue without an issue. I could not do that uh, with this particular barrel. Um... I had to uh, use medium set uh, CA glue because uh, it was gap filling. And like I said, this should be a sliding fit and not uh, a wobble fit. And this barrel is a wobble fit. Uh, when we look at the thinness of the wall on this tube, okay, uh, not a lot of glue surface and so on and so forth. Uh, I have another uh, barrel that came from Orange Hobby for my 2A6. Two A okay, this part is resin. There's a few resin parts in there, and this should have been resin instead of this in tube. Uh, considering that this uh, shipped to me, that's the only barrel I could find, okay, for the uh, the 1A5. Uh, cost $32 US from Hong Kong. Uh, it's not recommended, okay. Uh, whether the smoke charges uh, will be uh, of benefit and all that good stuff, uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, but uh, I'll be using uh, the plastic barrel unless I can find another one, okay, for um, uh, my Leo uh, 1A5. Um, very, very disappointing uh, considering the price I paid for this and considering the price that... Um, my 120 millimeter barrel for the, the 2A6 would have cost me, okay? And uh, so therefore, uh, this is a, uh, it's not an endorsement for the product. As a matter of fact, it's, uh, unless you can find something else, uh, stay away from it. Uh, I even used epoxy trying to uh, glue these things together, okay? There is no surface on there. And although this has quite a substantial, I might be able to, there we go. Okay, I uh, break this off and we'll bring that. You just saw that. Okay, and uh, if you look inside the barrel there, I added a fair bit. If I can get this in the focus, I had added a fair bit of epoxy in there in order to provide a greater gluing surface, and it just simply doesn't work. And uh, by the way, folks, uh, it's not the epoxy's problem. 
Okay, uh, it is what it is. So, uh, negative review, Mo uh, Voyager model, okay, uh, 1 in 35, uh, kit number uh, VBS0186, uh, the uh, German, L73, 105, 105 millimeter gun barrel, that's the rifle barrel, uh, not recommended, uh, please uh, avoid at all costs. Uh, that is all, Switcher. Signing off.